just this coming into Wings Bay. Wings Bay. <laughs> uh, actually, see it out there. I was supposed to have recorded earlier, but this train's been really busy. But the next now, station is Wings Bay. Jesus, where this train looks train choppy is. outside. It's not all been lost. Uh, the weather has turned quite nasty, unfortunately. We are doing a hype lapse. That's going to go on YouTube. It will either be in the top corner or down in the description below, depending on how I work it out. Uh, the weather has turned very nasty. Like, I don't know if you can quite tell. It's when I left Glasgow, as you'll see on the time lapse, uh, fairly calm, wasn't really raining. Started spitting around Paisley Gilmore Street, and now it is nasty. Like, it's windy, it's heavy rain, the waves out at sea looked really nasty. But we're still going to record, we're going to use this to go outside, which might be a mistake because I don't actually have a hat or anything at the moment. <laughs> I've literally got the YouTube. And the super dry. I'm not using this. This is not waterproof. That is. <sighs> Can't wait to get my new tripod tomorrow. Um, so momentarily, I'll be able to show you as we approach into Weems Bay. That's it. Uh, but yeah, the train was really busy when I left Glasgow. I was hoping to be able to do some recording like this. Uh, that there were some kids there that were playing music, there was a guy there who was on the phone, there was another person there watching football, it was like... <laughs> we'll soon arrive at Weems Bay, which is the last station on this route. Make sure you have all your belongings with you when you leave the train. If you see any unattended luggage, please tell a member of staff. Keep your ticket easily accessible to get you through the automatic ticket gates quickly. We hope you enjoyed your journey. And thank you for travelling Scotrail. Coming into Weems Bay now. It's a very nice to look around inside, I'm told. So we'll get a couple shots using this and then we'll try and go outside with that. This could be interesting. I'm gonna get wet. Oh no. Right, we are at Weems Bay. I do like the roof. The roof is actually really nice. I like the fact that it's curving down. This is the ramp. That's the ferry terminal. I don't think the ferry is running at the moment though because the weather is appalling. I mean... That weather... I mean, considering when I left Glasgow Central, it wasn't raining or anything. About 10 miles out of um, Glasgow, you then start noticing it start to spit. But I mean, looking at it the other way, you can probably hear it as well. And that was my hope to go outside for a bit, have a look around the exterior, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Which is such a shame because this is actually really nice. 
This is this was uh, this is Weems Bay Rail slash Ferry Terminal. It was recently refurbished a couple of years ago, I think, because it was getting a bit knackered and dilapidated. Opened in 1879. It is Grade A. Cat oh, sorry. It's Category A registered in Scotland, which is the equivalent of a Grade One listed building. But I mean, I've been having fun. I've been taking loads of black and white photos because black and white photos actually stand out a lot more in this sort of in this sort of uh, environment. What is that? We got all sorts of stuff here. Look at all these. LMS steamers, turbine steamers limited. China pieces shown were found in the cloud by a local diver. Wow, and dripped on. <laughs> There's even a bar. There's a bookshop. Obviously, the ticket office. It's actually, a proper little bar as well. <laughs> but I mean, look at the curvature. I mean. You can see the um, destination board flicking around because of the refresh rate. I like the flowers and everything. It's nice little touches, but yeah. There's the bookshop, station cafe, station pub, <laughs> ticket office, down there for the ferry. Only two platforms in use. It used to be three. As you can tell over there, the weather is so bad at the moment. I've got 52 minutes into the train, which isn't ideal because the original plan was, was the weather wasn't going to be this bad when, it, when I left Glasgow. I don't know if you can hear that fuzzing. That's the water. I can actually see little electric shocks in the pantagra in the catenary. I like the so much detail here. I mean there's no seats. Obviously the seats are over there. Um I thought like there's an old platform there. It looks like they're doing another bit of refurbishment over there. It is very windy. <laughs> also really cool. I am happy I got to come down here despite the fact that the weather is terrible. You can just be stood here. I'm not quite well I mean, it's partially open. You can see my hair being fluttered around the place. Before you rejoin me, I'm back on the train in about 50 minutes time, which will probably be ample time to get the GoPro charge because we're at 29%. That's two and a bit minutes time lapse that we did on the way here, drained its battery by about 50-60%. Yeah. No. Despite the weather, it is still really cool. And I'm glad I got to come down and say, oh, there's a butcher's over there. I wonder if anyone around here sells a hat. Go and have an explore. <laughs>